I was 15. Um, I woke up at uh, around 2 o'clock, um, 2 o'clock, 3-ish, and uh, I was in a little bit of pain. It wasn't as severe as it was later on, but there was definitely a little bit of pain um, that it didn't feel like growing pains is what my dad originally thought it was, but uh, it felt a little bit sharper in a sense, or like a little bit stronger than growing pains, because I felt growing pains before and it just felt a little bit stronger. I was scared. I was very scared to hear the word tumor because this has never happened and I was kept repeating to myself what's going to happen to me. Is, is something bad going to happen long term? And then it wasn't until after that my mom told me, <clears throat> excuse me that nothing was going to happen and it was just benign and it was going to be okay. So I kind of calmed down a little bit. I was still a little bit on edge but it was, it was good. This is Jack's femur and this is the target here. Well, this is the ultrasound beam coming in and it's uh, centered on the target here. And this is the temperature map during the treatment, so we know that we are in the right place and that we're actually getting a very good temperature effect. So the patient lies on top of this, and then they go into the center of the magnet. We image the target, and then we deliver the treatment uh, with this. And then during the treatment, we monitor uh, every second with an image to see how the treatment's going, what the temperature changes are. We used MR-guided focused ultrasound and it's a special transducer that's dome-shaped and it focuses the ultrasound beam uh, to a certain point and at that point you get a rise in tissue temperature and that's what ablates the lesion. So it goes through the skin uh, painlessly and as long as the target's selected appropriately then it's a very effective therapy. Uh, the way it turned out was beautiful. I thought it was beautiful so uh, I was very happy with how everything turned out. Right. I, I don't think I can put emphasis on enough how, how happy I was the next day to not feel pain anymore. It went extraordinarily well. He was incapacitated with pain. He was unable to sleep. Medications had not really helped him that much. And uh, he had a little bit of discomfort immediately after the procedure, but he's been pain-free since. He hasn't taken another medication. He's sleeping through the night. He's been out on a camping trip.